Let's see what proportional relationships look like in graphs. So here's what we're working with. If you happen to have little siblings at home, like baby brothers or baby sisters, then you'll understand this, um, this situation a little bit better. Um, so our situation says Vanessa is mixing formula for her baby. So she's making a bottle for her baby, right? So the graph given below describes the relationship between the ounces of water to the scoops of formula to make a properly mixed bottle. Okay, so we're comparing two different units, ounces of water to scoops of formula. Okay, and this graph right here represents this relationship. Okay, we have scoops along here and we have ounces going up the y-axis. Okay, the first thing I like to do when I see a graph is I like to make a table of values. So scoops is along the x-axis, so we'll write this one first. And we'll do the ounces of water in the next line because that's my y value. Okay, so let's just get a couple of values, a couple of lines here. So some points that I can see pretty easily. We have this point right here, which is 2, 6. So that represents 2 scoops and 6 ounces. So 2 scoops of formula combines with 6 ounces. Um, here's another point. This point is 3, 9. So this point tells me 3 scoops of formula mixes with 9 ounces of water. And let's do one more. Okay, this one says... Four scoops combines with 12 ounces. Okay, so four scoops combines with 12 ounces. Okay, so let's use this table to help us answer these questions. It says, does the graph describe a proportional relationship? And how do you know? Well, you might have to go back a couple lesson videos if you forgot what proportional means. But I'll remind you here. Proportional means that my two units have the same or a constant ratio. Okay, a ratio is just a fancy word for a fraction. So let's set up a fraction, well a couple fractions, and make sure that they're all the same. So since it's saying ounces to scoops, that means we're going to do a fraction with ounces on top and scoops on bottom. And I want to make sure I set up all of my fractions so that ounces are on top and scoops are on bottom. So let's just use my table. We have ounces over scoops. Six over 2. 6 divided by 2, that's just 3. So that ratio is just equal to 3. The next line says 3 scoops goes with 9 ounces. So that means 9 ounces goes on top and 3 scoops on bottom. But 9 divided by 3, that's just 3 as well. So that ratio is equal to 3. And the last line says 4 scoops combines with 12 ounces of water. So we put ounces on top and scoops on the bottom, so 12 divided by 4, but that's just 3 as well. So this ratio is equal to 3. So notice that every single ratio that I set up equals 3. So that means yes, it is a proportional relationship. Okay, another hint for you when you're looking at a graph is a proportional relationship is always a straight line when you graph it, that starts at the point 0, 0. Okay, so you can check it with your ratios and then make sure that your graph is a straight line that starts at 0, 0. And that is a proportional relationship. Now, the next question says, what's the unit rate? Now remember, a unit rate means we want to know how many ounces per one scoop. So in our fraction or ratio, we just want to know how many ounces per one scoop. So I can use any one of these lines to help me figure it out, but let's say I use the point 39, right? Let's use this one. That was supposed to be a star. But anyway, so ounces on top, so 9 ounces, I know combines with 3 scoops. So how can I make three scoops into one scoop? I can divide by three. Three divided by three is one. Whatever I do on the bottom, I have to do on the top as well, just to be fair. So I divide by three on the top, 
and I get three. So three ounces of water combines with one scoop. So in other words, three ounces per scoop is my unit rate. Now you can figure it out this way, and this is the way that you should be comfortable with because that's how we did it in the, in the first lesson. Um, or you can look at your graph and look at where one scoop is on the x-axis and line that up with where your line crosses. And notice that crosses at three. So this point right here would represent my unit rate, one scoop for three ounces. Okay, go ahead and move on to part two, and we're going to answer two more questions about this graph.